Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. And you? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm glad to hear that you're fine. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Uh, I was good. Okay. Nice. Did you do yes. anything special or just staying home? What did you do? No, no. I stayed home on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. That's nice. You had time to rest. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> and how about the platform? Stephanie, have you been working on it? Yes, I work in a platform. I finish all the sections one, two, and three. All right, that's nice. You did a lot of work. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Ana Maria. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? Pretty well, thank you. How was okay. the weekend? Uh, I work uh, um, weekend. Oh, you had to work. Okay. What do you do? Yes. Pardon? What do you do? I, can say uh, I am a uh, accountant. Oh, you're an accountant. Okay. That's nice. Yes, I do inventario. Eh, terminé muy cansada. Oh, yeah. It's tiring, right? Okay. Yes. And how about the, the um, platform? Eh, casi finalizo la sección 2. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. In section two. That's nice. We're yes. doing well. All right. Okay. Keep working. Okay. Hello, Daniel. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I am a little bit tired. Oh, a bit tired? Did you have to work today? Yes, I have a work and oh, okay. I do a inventory oh. in my work because it's, a, it's the end of the year. Yeah, that's right. You got a lot of work. Yes. Yeah, I can imagine. So what can you tell me about the platform? Have you had any time to work on it? Uh, yes, I finished uh, section one. You're done with section one. Okay, that's nice. Yes, in this week, uh, finish section one and probably uh, beginning uh, section three. Yes, yes, in this week we should be in section three, including the midterm test, okay? So just keep on working, okay? Okay. Also, uh, I'm finished section two and three. Yeah, yeah, you should. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. hi, Hector, how are you? Hi, <clears throat> fine. I'm glad to hear that. How was the weekend? Fine, we take some rest. Okay, that's good. Did you stay home? Yes. You did. Okay. Watching movies. <laughs> Just watching movies. What kind of movies do you like? Uh, action movie. Okay. Oh, um, so I am I am subscribed to to Disney Plus. Oh. So we have started to 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 watch the Avengers movies. Oh. Okay, interesting. That's nice. 
in the platform, Hector? Have you been working? Yeah, I I am in the middle of section two. Okay, you're doing pretty well. Keep working. Okay. Good evening, Luciano. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very good. All right. Thank you, teacher. I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. So, how was the weekend? Okay. Uh, well, good. My family visited, uh, conversation, activity, uh, family. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's very good. You had some family time. That's nice. And yes. tell me about the platform. The yeah. platform for uh, section two. Yeah. Uh, section two finish. You're done with section two. Okay. That's sure. nice. It's very good. Was it easy or difficult? Yes, so so section two. Okay. All right, that's nice. Hello, Hello. teacher. Hi, good Rafael. Evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Nice. Very very work. I'm glad to hear that. How was the weekend? Today. How was the weekend? Uh, uh, this this week. Mm -hmm. The the weekend, el fin de semana. The ah ah. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Okay. Uh, celebrity. The Saturday celebrity my birthday with oh, you family. Celebrated. Family. Okay. Happy birthday. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> okay, so you had a party. That's nice. Yes. Okay, pretty good. And how about the platform, Rafael? Have you been working on it? Yes. No. Only this, this morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. What section are you in? Uh, excuse me? What section are you in? Uh, the first. In the first one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just remember to continue working because this week we should complete section one, two, and three, right? Okay, okay teacher. Very good. Good evening, Karen. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thanks for answer. Okay, you're welcome. Did you solve the exercise? Yeah, only the exception number one. I okay. start the section number two this week. All right, that's nice. Very good. So are the exercises easy or difficult? What do you think? I think teacher um, difficult. Oh, really? But, yeah, but I study the the content in the platform for or remember the the practice in the class. Okay, yeah, that's good. And remember, if you find if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right, you're welcome. Hello, Jimena. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I have headaches. Oh, but really? I'm fine. Yes, 
That's pretty bad. Yes. But I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So tell me about the platform. Have you been working? Yes, yesterday I worked at section three okay. and I complete the first exercise in section three. All right, excellent. Thanks. Okay, so I think we may start right now. So let's see what we get for today's class. So we are going to start, we already shared a little bit about our weekends, but then uh, I need you to think about a thing that you didn't do on the weekend. So what is something you didn't do? For example, in my case, I could tell you I didn't play any sports last weekend, right? So um, we're going to do this activity, it's called popcorn sentences. So I say my sentence, for example, I already said, I didn't play any sports last weekend. Then I say popcorn and I choose a classmate. For example, I could say popcorn Stephanie. Then Stephanie has to say another sentence and she has to say popcorn and choose another person, okay? Okay. So go ahead, Stephanie. Uh, okay. I I usually I usually go to the mall with my mother. Popcorn. Yes, Stephanie, you have to make a sentence in the past using dinner. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. I I didn't I didn't make ex exercise every day. You didn't do exercise. I didn't do exercise every day. Okay, just let me tell you over there. Every day is not used in the past. Eh, para el pasado no podemos utilizar el every day. So just I didn't do exercise, okay? Okay, I didn't do exercise. Okay, very good, Stephanie. Now choose a person, popcorn, and you say a name. Okay, popcorn. Uh, Luciano Adalberto. Hi, este, eh, eh, diren, diren, eh, didn't they in the war in in, in waking? You didn't work. Okay. Now say popcorn and choose another person to participate. Um, Daniel. Daniel. Okay. Daniel, go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't. I didn't. So, um, I don't know, teacher. Just think about an activity that you didn't do. No, o sea, sí, solo, no, no sé, no se me ocurre. Oh, okay, so it's fine. Let's have Ana Maria tell us about something you didn't do last weekend. Ana Maria? Uh, I didn't do pupusas for dinner. You didn't make pupusas for dinner? Okay. 
Now choose another person, please. Uh, I not do. No. No. No, you're right. You say, I didn't make pupusas for dinner. That's okay. Me. Como dijo, I didn't? Uh, I didn't make pupusas for dinner. Su oración está bien, mm. nada más que no decimos do pupusas, sino que make pupusas. Ok. Y para decir que yo las elaboré. Yeah. That's how you say it, make. Igual. Sí, eso sería, make. make. Uh -huh. I didn't make pupusas for dinner. Yes, that is right. So we say make pupusas, hacerlas, then eat pupusas, or you could also buy pupusas. Buy, comprarlas, eat, comerlas, okay. Okay. make, hacerlas. Right? Make, hacerlas. Okay, thank you. Okay, so choose another person, please. Ana Maria, you say popcorn, and you mention a uh, classmate's name. En presente. No, escogemos alguno de los compañeros para que participe. Ah, ok, ok, perdón. Sí. Um, Franklin, Mauricio. Ok. Uh, hi, hi, hi. Uh, teacher, I don't understand por qué me voy conectando. Oh, ok. No termino de entender qué están haciendo. All right, we're just talking about things that we didn't do on the weekend. So tell us about something you didn't do. Ah, uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, I didn't do wash my car. You didn't wash your car, okay. Now choose a person to participate. Ahora escoja alguno de los compañeros para que participe. Ok. Mm. Karina Gómez. Okay. Last week. Sorry, Karina, we cannot hear you now. I didn't uh -huh. eat chocolate. Last week. Okay, very good. Now choose another classmate, please. Popcorn, Rafael Flores. All right. Save it. Uh, uh, repeat, please. <laughs> que, se me, que se me cayó el inter. Okay, so Rafael, you just have to say something you didn't do on the weekend. Um, dice algo que no hizo el fin de semana. No. Something you didn't do. I didn't. I didn't eat. 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 Ah, sí. Porque el didn't el, es presente, ¿verdad? el verbo de... I didn't eat eh, fast food. Okay, you didn't eat fast food. Very good. Now choose another classmate, please, to participate. Okay. Eh, Andrea Araceli. Thank you. Good evening. Hi. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't watch my favorite uh, TV program last weekend. Okay. Now choose a last Hola. person to participate, please, Andrea. Okay. Um, popcorn, Hector. Okay. Uh, I didn't go to the beach. Okay, very good. So just keep that in mind, please. You use didn't, then the verb in the present, right? And um, well, 
Here we're going to talk a little bit about time expressions for the past. Vamos a hablar de algunas expresiones que podemos utilizar para el pasado. Um, hay que tener mucho cuidado con las expresiones como every day, usually, always, um, sometimes, and so on. Porque esas son para el, pre, para el presente, ¿verdad? Cuando digo que hago algo every day, estoy hablando de una rutina. Y para eso utilizamos el simple present, right? When I say I um, take a shower every day. So Working. That would, be, that would be a habit or a routine, right? I work every day. Or I usually uh, go out on the weekends. So those are routines. So we express them in the present. Drink so now, the coffee. Drink coffee, exactly. Now let me tell you a little bit about time expressions that we can use in the past. So first of all, we got yesterday, right? Yesterday, ayer. Then we could also uh, say yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, or yesterday evening. Another one we have is the day before yesterday. Um, para decir anteayer, no hay específicamente una palabra en inglés. So we say it like this, the day before yesterday, right? That's how you say it. Then we got last night, last night, anoche. We also have expressions like last Monday, last Thursday, last Saturday. Teacher, one question. Tell me. When usual uh, yesterday, uh, I need uh, use verbo in pasado. Yes, exactly. You use the past. Uh, mm -hmm. I worked okay. yesterday, right? Okay, we also have last week, last month, and last year. And we could also use expressions like one day ago, two days ago, three days ago. Ese ago sería hace, right? Like hace un día, hace dos días, hace tres días. And uh, we could also mention a specific date. For example, in 2015, in 1994, for instance. And please repeat after me, yesterday. 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 Yesterday morning. Yesterday. Yesterday, Yesterday morning. morning. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday, Yesterday afternoon. afternoon. Yesterday evening. Yesterday, Yesterday evening. evening. The day before yesterday. The day before the day yesterday. Before yesterday. 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 Last night. Last, last night. night. Last, last Monday. Last Monday. Last Monday. Last Thursday. Last, last Thursday. Thursday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last, Saturday. Saturday. last week. Last, last week. week. Last month. Last, last month. month. Last year. Last, last year. year. Last year. One day ago. One day ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Three days ago. Three days ago. In 2015. In 2015. Okay, so here I have some example sentences. The first one goes like, I didn't eat pizza yesterday. Can you help me to read the next one, please, Jimena Ayala? My, my father didn't work yesterday morning. Thank you. Next example, Karina. Bob did not stay home the day before yesterday. Thanks. Mauricio, next one. I didn't sleep well last night. Okay, thanks. Mercedes, can you read the next one? 
My sister didn't go out last Sunday. Okay, thanks. Osvaldo, help me to read the next one, please. We didn't go to the bar last weekend. Okay, thanks. Next one, let me see. Um, Edwin. Okay, I didn't go to the cinema two days ago. All right, thank you. William, you read the last one. I didn't travel in 2005. Okay, thanks. So as you see, we use the time expressions at the end. Las agregamos al final. I didn't eat pizza yesterday. Then my father didn't work yesterday morning. Same here, the day before yesterday. It's at the end of the sentence. And well, all of the expressions go at the end. So just keep that in mind. And okay, so now we are going to talk a little bit about the past. So in this session, simple past questions and answers will be, will be introduced. And irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. So I'd like to share, let me see. We're going to get the video. Please, uh, what is the meaning of taught? Taught, um, enseñar. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to start by watching the video we have here in the platform. Um, I think you have already studied a little bit about the simple past, right? Ya han estudiado el simple past, ¿cierto? Yes. Right? Okay. So yes. we're just making yeah. a review. Yes. Repeat, please. No, we're just making we'll a review. We'll teach you just how to make questions and how to answer. Listen and watch the video. In this and session, then we're going to class, questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did, and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. 
Okay, so as we heard in the video, we have um, an auxiliary for the simple past. What's the auxiliary we use? Did. 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 That's right. So let's um, take a look at a simple present question. So in the present, we would say, do you have a car? For instance, we use the auxiliary do, right? And then in order to answer this question, we would have the options, yes, I do, and no, I don't. So as you see, we use the auxiliary do and don't. Then in the simple past, we also need an, an auxiliary. As you mentioned, it's did. So instead of using do, we use did, and we get questions like, did you work yesterday? And then the answers could be, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. So please repeat, did you work yesterday? Did you work yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. I didn't. Okay, the structure that we have for the, the questions is the following. We start with the auxiliary did, then we add a subject. After that, we need a verb in the present. As you see here, we use work and not worked, right? We use it in the base form. And after that, we only add a complement and a question mark. Here I have another example. Did she Question. come last week? Did she come last week? What would be the answer? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Or? No, no she, didn't. she didn't. No, she didn't. That's right. Another example would be, did they travel to Canada last month? What can we answer to that yes. question? Yes, they yes. did. Yes, they did. No, they yes, didn't. They did. yes, they did. Exactly. So just keep that in mind. We start with the auxiliary did, then we got the subject, and then the verb in the present. Okay, so here we are going to make some questions and then ask and answer them. For example, number one, we got the subject you and have a hamburger for dinner. How do we make a question using that information? Do you, do you do have you a hamburger for dinner? Okay, so remember we are making questions in the past. So we use this, right? This so do you have, did you have, did you have a hamburger, hamburger for dinner? dinner? Exactly. Did you have a hamburger for dinner? Next one would be. Uh, did your mom did your visit mom. your last visit? You last your, week. Okay. Did your so mom remember, visit you last weekend? Yes, you're right. Did your mom visit you last weekend? Next one. Did you travel, did you travel, travel, did you travel, travel to New York, York last year? year? Great. Next. Did your brother sister uh, give you give on your last birthday? Yes. Next. Did you learn, did you learn Chinese? Chinese two years ago? Very good. Number six. Did you celebrate did last celebrate week? Did you celebrate last, you celebrate last, last Christmas? Christmas? Great. Next one. Did you eat pasta last weekend? Week? Okay. Number eight. Did you work? Did you work yesterday, yesterday after the afternoon. afternoon. Okay. Number nine is. Did you drink coffee, coffee, coffee in, the in the morning? Coffee in the morning. And the last one. Did you complete, you complete any, any exercises, exercises in the platform, in the platform yesterday? yesterday. Okay, very good. So now this is what we're going to do. I am going to send you a picture of the information to the, to the WhatsApp chat, and I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. I need you to practice asking and answering the questions. So you just 
ask the questions to your classmates. For example, let me see. Daniel Ocampo, did you have a hamburger for dinner? No, I didn't okay. know. No, I didn't, okay. So that's what you have to do, okay? And then if you want to add more information, that'd be perfect, okay? You could say, no, I didn't, I had some beans, okay? Or I had pupusas. Okay. All right, so let me send you to the breakout rooms and you're getting the picture in just a couple of seconds, okay? There you go. Hi, Luciano and Sergio, did you get a picture? No t-shirt. Did you get the picture? Okay. Now, ahora sí. Okay. Yes. Okay, este... Sergio, uh, yes, number no. one, number no. one, uh, did you have hamburgers for dinner? No, I didn't. El Luciano, did your mom visit you last weekend? Yes, I did uh, visit a family in the weekend. Well, in that case, you're talking about your mom. Did your mom visit you? Uh, did your mom, okay. So you say yes, she did or no, she didn't, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I... Uh, yes, yes, I did. Um, my mother visit. Okay. Uh, Tell me the next. Next uh, three, you travel to New York last year. Oh, sorry, just let me tell you, sorry to interrupt, Luciano and Sergio, you also have Franklin over here. Okay, hi, Franklin. Hi, hi. 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 Uh, sorry, teacher, uh, tuve problemas con mi internet y me salí del otro grupo cuando me volví a conectar, pues aparecí aquí. Yeah, don't worry, it's okay. Okay, same. Uh, no, I didn't. I don't have brother. <laughs> um, sister. No. No. I am only son. Only son. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Mauricio. Yeah. Did you learn Chinese two years ago? No, I didn't. I did not speak Chinese. Okay. Latin. What? I don't. I don't. I don't listen. Latin. Creo que algo así se dice. Latin. 
Latin. Ah, okay. Delicious. The second question. Did 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 you visit you last weekend? No, did did you last did your mom visit visit your mom last weekend? Did you did you last visit your mom last weekend? Así es, bro. Did your mom visit you last weekend? That's how you say. Okay. I I did. I live with my mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This moment, this moment. <laughs> Andrea? ¿Cuál era la pregunta? It, did, did you visit? Did your mom? Did your mom? Oh no, did, did your mom, Andrea? Yes. Did you? Um... Did your mom? No. I didn't visit. Is visit to her or visit her? No, visit her. Visit I didn't her, but... visit her because I live with her. <laughs> you live with her too. Okay, so there's a little difference between saying, did your mom visit you last weekend? And did you visit your mom last weekend, right? So in this case, for example, did your mom visit you last weekend? You should answer, yes, she did. Or no, she didn't. Because we're talking about your mom. Mm -hmm. And then if we change the question to did you visit your mom? En ese caso sí le estaría preguntando que si usted visitó a su mamá. Did you visit your mom? Pero acá como la tenemos, did your mom visit you? Si su mamá lo visitó a usted, right? Uh, There's a uh, difference over there. Okay? Okay. Continue. Okay. Uh, did you travel to to New York New, New York last year? No, I didn't. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. It's my person. <laughs> no, ser, no, sería I did or sí. Yes, I did. Yes, no, I did. Sí. Do you have any questions? Ah, teacher, estamos en la pregunta, en, en la pregunta cuatro, este, eh, le, le preguntaba al compañero que la, si, si le re, había respondido bien al decir, yes, I did. So the question is, did your brother or sister give you a gift on your last birthday, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Then you have to answer, yes, she did, or yes, he did. No, he didn't, or no, she didn't. Because we're ah, talking about your brother or your sister. Sí, porque eh, eh, en, esa, en esa pregunta es, este, es como que mi hermana, o si mi hermana, o si mi hermano nos ha regalado algo, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ajá, por eso te, era mi duda, entonces no, no sería ID, sino que como usted dice, eh, yes, her did, yes, her did, o, o no, his did, ¿verdad? Exactly, she did or she didn't. Ah, she did, uh -huh. okay. Okay. Okay, este, uh, next question. Uh, Hello? You, did you learn shyness to years ago uh, okay. what what mean learn uh, uh, aprender uh, no no i didn't and you no i no i didn't learn china and two years 
but the language is very difficult. Uh, yes, uh, I think, I think uh, that that le that language it is is difficult for me, for me too. Yes, and did you celebrate? Did you celebrate last Christmas? Yes, I did. I all I always celebrate Christmas. Oh. Uh -huh. Right, so now let's share some of the of the answers. Let me ask some people over here. So let's see, William Figueroa, did you have a hamburger for dinner? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, I, oh, go ahead, William. Okay. No, I didn't. I eat a beans. You ate beans, okay. Very good. That's a good Salvadorian, right? Yes. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Hector, did your mom visit you last weekend? Uh, no, she didn't. Okay, very good. Um, over here, let me explain something. So the question we have is, as I just mentioned, did your mom visit you? last weekend right so you answer as Hector did no she didn't or yes she did then we could also change the question to did you visit your mom last weekend and then the answer would become yes I did or no I didn't Sería distinta la forma de preguntar acá. En la primera estoy preguntando si su mamá lo visitó a usted. En la segunda, y por ende, me tiene que responder si ella me visitó o no, ella no me visitó, right? Yes, she did or no, she didn't. And in the second Teacher, one, I you visit your mom. Tell me. Teacher, ¿y si nosotros vivimos con, con nuestra mamá? Oh, then you say no, she didn't. <laughs> So you could say, no, she didn't, wow. because we live together, for instance. We must juntos, we live together. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I live, I live with, with my, my mom. Yeah, that's right, too. I live with my mom. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So just be careful with the way uh, we ask and answer the questions. Hay que tener mucho cuidado con la forma en que preguntamos y en que respondemos, porque acá, por ejemplo, le estoy preguntando your mom, entonces me tiene que decir yes, she did, no, she didn't. En cambio, si le pregunto did you visit your mom, sería si usted visitó a su mamá y ahí responde con el I, ¿verdad? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. So just be careful with that little detail. Let's see, Rafael, did you travel to New York last year? No, no, I, I didn't. Okay. Next one, Mauricio. Did your brother or sister give you a gift on your last birthday? Yes, he did. Okay, he did. your brother did. All right, yes. nice. Got in. Did you learn Chinese two years ago? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, Luciano, did you celebrate last Christmas? Yes, I didn't. Yes, you did. Okay. Franklin, did you eat pasta last week? Uh, no, I didn't. 
All right. Jimena, did you work yesterday afternoon? No, I didn't. You did it. Andrea Araceli, did you drink coffee in the morning? No, I didn't. Okay. Edwin Castro, did you complete any exercises in the platform yesterday? Yes, I did. I complete uh, section one, section two, and section three. Great. Okay. So now let's continue by talking about the WH questions. So I would like to start by reviewing the WH question words. We got what, which is to ask about a thing, a specific thing. Where, to ask about places. When, is to ask about time. Then we have who, is for asking about people. Why, is for asking for a reason, for an explanation, right? How would be a question word to ask about manner, the way you do something or the way something is. And we use it in expressions like how old, how much, how many, how long. Then um, we have how to make the WH, question, the WH questions in the simple past. So first of all, we use a WH word then we need the auxiliary did. After that, we need a subject, then a verb, and then the complement and the question mark. Here I have an example. What did you buy at the mall? What did you buy at the mall? So what could be the answer to that question? I bought a blouse. I bought a blouse. Very good. Let me give you another example. Who did you visit last night? My I visited my girlfriend. I visited my girlfriend. Okay, another one. When did you go to the supermarket? Miss, y para decir que alguien me visitó, como quien me visitó. Oh, in that case, you changed the question to who visited you last night. Um, así hay grandes rasgos. Tenemos preguntas directas y preguntas indirectas. En el caso de las preguntas con did, estamos hablando de preguntas indirecta. So, um, for example, when you say, who did you visit last night? Entonces estaríamos preguntando por la persona que recibe la acción, digamos así. Si en cambio estoy hablando de quién lo visitó a usted, estoy hablando de, o estoy preguntando por la persona que hizo la acción, el doer. So I say, who visited you last night? So it changes, right? For example, you could say, my girlfriend visited me. En ese caso, le cambiamos el sentido a la, a la pregunta. No sé si les... Thank you. Okay. Yes, thank you. All right. So then we have another question with it, which says, um, when did you go to the supermarket? I, I went, went to the supermarket yesterday. I went to the supermarket yesterday. All right, that's the way we make questions using WH in the simple past and how we answer them too. Let's see. Okay, now I have some questions that we're going to answer all together. And let me start by asking Sergio. Sergio, how was your day? Um, my day, my day was uh, a little bit stressful. It was stressful. Okay. Mercedes, how was your day? Mm. 
Mercedes Rivas. Hi. Hi, how was your day? How was your day? Uh, I was work. Okay, so you could say it was busy. What? You could say it was busy. Eh, fue un día ocupado. Because I'm asking you, how was your day? So you say it was busy. I had to work, for instance. Yes. Okay. All right, Andrea Araceli, what did you do today? I worked all day. All right. And it was a busy day. Okay. Karina, what did you do today? I just worked. You just worked. Okay. Let's see, Ana Maria. Who did you see yesterday? Ana Maria? Repeat, please, teacher. Yes, number three. Who did you see yesterday? Who did you see? Mm -hmm. Who did you see yesterday? I can be over here. Um, I see. I see uh, my mother. Okay, you saw your mother. Very good. Daniel. What did you do last weekend? I did. Uh, a mall with my mother. And sorry, can you repeat that? I did go to mall with my mother. Oh, okay. So you say I went. Remember to change the verb. I went to the mall with my mother. Simple pass. Yes. Okay. okay. Very good, Daniel. Let's see, Karen Briseida. What did you do last weekend? Oh, the last weekend I worked. You worked. Okay. Luciano, where did you go last weekend? Uh, last weekend. Uh... Oh, uh, grandfather. You went to your grandfather's house. Okay. Sergio, where did you go last weekend? I went uh, to my mother-in-law. Okay. Let me see. Jimena, how much did your shoes cost? Um, ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? They cost and then they the cost. Uh -huh. uh, they cost twenty dollars. Okay, very good. Franklin, where did you go to school? Uh, sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Where did you go to the school? Yes. Donde estu donde exactly. Uh, um, university or the high school? Um, maybe high school. Uh, um, Complejo Educativo Feli Herrera in, okay. in San Miguel, San Miguel. All right, interesting. 
Okay, okay, so because of the time, we're going to stop over here. Do we have any questions, any doubts, comments? Maybe not. All right, so that will be all for today's yeah. class. Okay. Thanks for your attention and participation. Take care and have a good night. Remember to continue working in the platform, please. See you okay. tomorrow. Good night, Thank you, teacher. Good night, Bye. teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.